You know, the interesting thing about skeptics is that we're always looking for proof. When you ground a movie like this in reality, it's much scarier. The question is, what on earth would we do if we found it? It's been the most enjoyable part I've had in the film since Silence of the Lambs. The Right is the most authentic exorcism film ever created. What is it you believe? That's not the devil. Maybe there is a chance that the devil is real. And the story is of this character, Michael Kovac. His father is a mortician. He doesn't particularly want to follow in his father's footsteps, so he decides to join the priesthood. Last year, the Vatican received over a half a million reports of demonic possession. He's assigned to exorcism school. You want me to be an exorcist? Two months in Rome. How bad could that be? Angelina is a young woman who is also taking part in the school, and she's actually a journalist. I'm just interested in the truth. Seems like you are too. Whilst he's in the exorcism course, Buongiorno. he meets a very interesting priest with very unorthodox methods, and he experiences some pretty spooky stuff. The character played is basically a very good man. I just get villainized or devilized. God is not here, priest. The terror is real, Michael. The script was based on Matt Baglio's book, The Right. I was in Rome working as a journalist, and I heard about this course being offered at a Vatican university. The late Holy Father, John Paul II, two months before his death, issued a directive mandating every bishop in the world to select and train an exorcist. I wanted to write about what it's like to be an exorcist, and especially one just getting started. When I met Father Gary, I knew right away that he could be an interesting subject because he was so honest and so open. It's true that there's an exorcism school. This was taken at an exorcism in Turin. <laughs> it's a high-tech, kind of modern facility, contradictory to the way you think of the Vatican. The woman survived in this state without food or water for eight weeks. It was real important for us to try and stay as real as possible. To get that in this film, we hired Father Gary Thomas to make sure the actual ritual of the exorcism was all accurate. I absolve you of any sins you may have committed now and the past in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I've been very impressed with the closeness of the authentic experiences of exorcism that the movie illustrates. The author of the book, Matt Baglio, is our kind of technical advisor. One of the things I did was to take some of the actors to see real exorcists. Up on stage, please. The exorcism sounds, but they're really terrifying things to watch. I was really shocked. In that little room was happening something that you cannot explain. <laughs> People go in, sit down, he prays over them. They have whatever reactions they have. Hold on. In the name of Jesus Christ, out of her. In the name of Judas you know, some of the instances that are seen in the film, jaws dislocated, vomiting up of nails. The rolling of the eyes, tremors in the limbs of the person. Strange voices that just don't sound human. All of that stuff comes from real experiences. It makes them all the more chilling. Such a strong and terrible fight between good and evil. I haven't prayed in years. The Right is a film about belief. Last night I found myself praying for you. It's much more complex than what you see in the genre. Does a thief or a burglar turn on the lights when he's robbing your house? No. He prefers you to believe that he's not there. Is it the devil or is it psychology? It gets complicated when no proof of the devil is somehow proof of the devil. Their questions have been around for hundreds of thousands of years. You be careful, Michael. Choosing not to believe in the devil won't protect you from him. Ah! It's out of this world, and it's all based on reality. He's scary and creepy and really makes you think. Truth is much stranger than fiction. Ah! Your name! Give me your name! God help me! Well, what do you expect? Spinning heads? Pea soup? <laughs>